Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for preparing MRCS exam. Here the question. A 28 years old man has a pleomorphic adenoma and the decision is made to resect this surgically. Which of the following structures is least likely to be encountered during surgical resection of the parotid gland? So here a 28 years old man has pleomorphic adenoma that means tumor in the parotid gland and he, uh, is made to resect the surgically surgically which of the following structure is least likely to be encountered that means which of the following structure will not be injured or no chance of injury during this procedure for this we uh, we will have to first uh, the uh, we have to identify the structure which is very close to the parotid gland and which has the risk of injury during the procedure so here the questions they are the external carotid artery retro mandibular vein auriculo temporal nerve mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve and zygomatic branch of the facial nerve so here this is the this is the parotid gland and here we can see this is the mandible that means it is anterior part and this part is the posterior part because there is mastoid process and sternocleidomastoid mastoid muscle insertion and anteriorly here we can see the ramus of the mandible masseter muscle and medial pterygoid muscle so this is anterior part and here the posterior part and this is we can see this is the parotid gland so the structure which is very close to the parotid gland there is a chance of injury of the structure so let's here see the structure first of all this red this is the external carotid artery and just close to it this is a retromandibular vein and another nerve is facial nerve so these three structure external carotid artery retromandibular vein and facial nerve they have the chance of injury and there we can see some other structure which is close to the parotid gland such as the internal carotid artery stylet process internal jugular vein and here some nerve cranial nerve 9 10 11 so they also may be injured sometime so the structure which is closely related to this they are the external carotid artery retrovendibular vein and facial vein facial nerve with it is five branches so these the structure at greatly risk during the operation of the parotid gland and here we can see the mandibular nerve which is a branch of the trigeminal nerve it here it lies in the inner side of the mandible but the parotid gland it usually lies outside and behind the mandible so in case uh, in case of mandibular nerve there as this is lies far away from the parotid, parotid gland so there is a less chance of injury of this mandibular nerve here we can see the auriculotemporal nerve here the auriculotemporal nerve it arises it goes like this so uh, it touches the parotid gland so auriculotemporal nerve it may be injured during this procedure and we can see here is the facial nerve and five branches these are the branches of the facial nerve they terminates and it starts here in the within the substance of the parotid gland so there is a injury of the facial nerve branches during this procedure in this picture we can see this is the parotid gland here this is the parotid gland and parotid ducts here and we can see the facial nerve which is terminal branches they are the temporal zygomatic this is the buccal upper and lower marginal mandibular and cervical branch so these five terminal branches of the facial nerve are risk of injury during this procedure and also the important nerve this is auriculotemporal nerve so auriculotemporal nerve and five terminal branches of the facial nerve and external carotid artery retromandibular vein they are great chance of injury or great risk during this procedure here we can see the mandibular nerve the mandibular nerve it arises from the trigeminal nerve and it leaves the skull base through the foramen ovale and it descends down and it lies inner side of the mandible so as it lie lies in the inner side of the mandible and parotid gland it uh, uh, parotid gland 
parotid gland it lies in this area this area there is no chance of injury of this mandibular nerve which is branch of the trigeminal nerve and here we can see the mandibular nerve branch that means inferior alveolar nerve so mandibular nerve gives the inferior alveolar nerve in the inner side of the mandible so there is no chance of injury of the mandibular nerve during this procedure so here some other information according uh, which is related to these questions structure passing through the parotid gland that means facial nerve and it is branches we saw in the picture external carotid artery retromandibular vein and auriculotemporal nerve so these four branches are great risk of injury during this procedure so finally it we can see the mandibular branch of trigeminal nerve it is will have no risk during this procedure on the other hand the external carotid artery retromandibular vein auriculotemporal nerve and zygomatic branch of the facial nerve they have the risk of the injury